Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today I want to talk and speculate about something that's just not even out yet. I mean tomorrow in two weeks on uh, September 9th at 9.45 p.m. Central European time, European time, the Volkswagen ID3 will be presented to the world in its, all its glory. But uh, what I want to talk to you about is something that there are some things that even before the premiere I don't like about the car. I will order it, I will get used to those things, but I'm a bit disappointed. And there are a few things that maybe change, but I don't think so. And some things I already know that I won't like as much. First thing would be the instrument cluster. It's a bit weird that every instrument cluster that I've ever seen in my whole life was always in something so the sun doesn't reflect off and this doesn't have it so I don't trust it right now have a bit of a weird feeling about it if it's all visible very good and I don't know we'll see I really don't know uh, second thing would be something that I'm guessing I don't know yet but I'm guessing so we know that it has the when you put it in in, uh, in drive you have to drive with with coasting so no region at all and then you have to hit the gear selector again and then you get B for braking so where you have a strong region I don't know if it will have pedal shifters to adjust the region I doubt it I think they want to make it as easy as possible but what I would want since I'm driving most city and country road will be that when I put it in drive it's already in B and then sometimes when I'm on the highway I want to put it in the normal D for coasting and I don't think this will be I think every time I put it into drive I have to press again right away so I get my the B that I want and and it, I'm pretty sure it will be annoying. It was annoying with the e-golf. It was annoying with the Nissan Leaf. I want that B right away. I hope that they can make it that this is the standard thing. Like Kona, Enero, Esol, you can select which which region level is selected when you put it, when you drive it in which drive mode. I love that. I want that. I want to get in the car and have the, the, the car the way that I want it all the time. And if I want to change that, I can change it. But not the way that the manufacturer thought it should be. It would be just interesting. Number three would be uh, the tires. The tires are very big. I can't remember it was 19 inch or 20 inch. But I, I looked it up for winter tires. If I have to buy winter tires and the cheapest okay tires not the best are 200 euros for one tire it's a lot of money because it's a big thing so i'm sure it looks great big tires always looks great on cars look great but it's just expensive and more consum higher consumption and the last one is the charge port in the back here in germany and in Austria, oh, every charger I have been, I know there are some, but every charger I have been so far has, uh, is the charger is in front of the parking space, not on the side. So if you have your charger in the back, you have to drive backwards into your parking spot. And if it's a narrow parking spot, that is of course uh, a more of a hassle and takes longer to get uh, in reverse into a tight uh, parking spot than it is to go uh, to reverse into an open road it's just easier it's no problem I can do it it's just more of a hassle and if I can choose I want the charging port in front like the Kona, Enero, Isol, Nissan Leaf, Renault Zoe I would just prefer it and the only downside that I can think of maybe there's an engineering problem we're having in the front I don't know but the only downside that I can think of is if it's not sealed correctly with rain problem or in the winter that there's snow around the opening mechanism that maybe the, the, the it's not opening quite quite perfectly but I'm sure you people can think of it and then make an opening mechanism that works I mean even Audi e-tron Joker I pace have it in front but on the side that's not great especially on the e-tron because it's such a big front 
but the ID3 wouldn't be as big so I would I would prefer it in the front it's just my thing what are your things what what do you, you already don't like about the ID3 uh, I know we don't know everything yet and I'm so excited I mean two weeks <laughs> I'm so excited and and uh, uh, 20 days on what is it today no in and 19 days be at the Frankfurt Motor Show and see the car for myself I can't wait to sit in it touch all the buttons and film everything all the details get we get to know everything we want to know about the car weight power charging speed ah can't wait I'm very excited I'm very happy well <laughs> okay thank you very much for watching have a great day and take care bye